To start, in this lesson, you'll learn how to load a roll of media. To start, notice the two blue push roller levers on the inner sides of the CE light cutter. If you look at the left lever, notice that it has two positions, position 0 and position 1. When the lever is in the 0 position, this indicates that the push rollers are up and media can then be loaded. On the other hand, when the lever is in position 1, this indicates that the push rollers on that side are locked down, which prevents media from being loaded or removed. If you look at the right lever, notice that it has four positions, position 0 through position 3, each with their own level of pressure. Position 0 indicates that the right side of the push roller bar is up, allowing for media to be loaded. Positions 1 through 3 indicate that the push roller is locked down on that side, which prevents any media from being loaded or removed. Selecting which position to use depends on the width of the media you are loading. For instance, position 1 is mostly for narrower materials, such as ones that are 8 inches wide. Position 2 would be for medium width materials, such as ones that are 15 inches wide. And position 3 is for wider materials, such as ones that are from 17 to 20 inches. If you are concerned as to which position to use, the CE light takes the guesswork out of it by letting you know what position the right lever should be at after it scans the right side edge. To load media, start by setting both levers to position 0. Next, locate the two push rollers on the push roller bar and spread out the center push roller rings evenly between the two push rollers. This will create continuity of pressure on the loaded media. Each time you want to cut a roll of media, you should install the roll media bracket assembly. This is done by laying out the assembly pieces as you see them on the screen. Start by locating the hooks on three arms of the bracket. Take the hooks and insert them into the slots on the front edge of the cutter. Do the same for the rest of the bracket arms, making sure the rollers on the brackets are facing inward. Take the cross member and place it in the slots of the bracket arms. If installed correctly, the right roller bracket should move side to side to accommodate different roll sizes. Next, take the front edge of the roll media and insert it into the front of the cutter as seen here. Slide the media forward until it reaches to about where it is on the screen. Next, position the right push roller by pressing the push roller button and slide it over until it is aligned with the right edge of the media. Next, position the left push roller so that it aligns with the roll media icon marker. Next, bring both push roller levers down to lock in the media. This brings up this menu on the control panel with two choices for roll media, roll start edge and roll current position. Let's first press the roll start edge. This will scan the front edge of the media as well as the side edges of the media. As mentioned, it will automatically inform you of what the position the right push roller lever should be set based on the width of the media. On the other hand, if we press Roll Current Position, it will scan the side edges, but will not scan the front edge. Once the cutter is finished scanning, the control panel will display the main menu screen, which indicates that the cutter is ready to start cutting.